Libras, this is your mid-month reading for mid-April through mid-May. Thank all of you guys for coming to watch your reading. I do appreciate you and your energy. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other, okay? Like I put on the thumbnails, this is the desk edition, okay? So we'll eventually go back to our other view, but we're going to just read on the desk for today okay let's see what your energy is looking like we're going to get a better shuffle on that on that energy here and we're going to be doing a celtic cross for this reading spirit what message do you have here for libra what messages here for libra thank you libra you're about your business that's what I see here as your central energy. You guys have the Knight of Pentacles. You're just, you're directionless right now. <laughs> Look at all these Knights coming in. Okay. I see you. I'm going to get all of your cards out. You may hear just periods of silence while I get this out and just take a look at your energy. But you guys can see it too. That's the beauty of the downward view, right? Let's go in. Oh, beautiful. Coming in for... Oh, lovely. I'm loving the energy that's coming out for you guys <laughs> on this desk edition for all of you. I hope you're watching your sun, your sun, of course, your moon and your rising sign so you can get a clear picture of what spirit wants you to know here during this time let's get some guiding messages out here how much do you have here for libra spirit the nest it really coincides and i love it how it's sitting right next to the ten of cups the nest card is showing up for you let's get some messages out from your spirit guys we're using messages from the universe i'm really digging this deck i really appreciate it messages from the universe let's see what is showing up for you what message do you have here for libra let's take a look at your money The messages you have here for Libra Spirit. Mid April through mid May. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> well, I'll take a look at that energy in just a moment. All right. Side, sidelined have you guys ever dealt with that before being sidelined getting sidelined often feels like rejection it is critical to shift beyond the negative feelings and build the resiliency to take action focus on what you can control and move forward some of you guys have been sidelined in your life especially in the past i feel like you guys may have been sidelined with the three of cups you may have had people in your life here that you felt like uh, they were your friends and they sidelined you or they um weren't available to you when you needed them but libra i feel like you were definitely available for them okay in their time of need but a lot of you guys feel like people just shrug their shoulders at you possibly weren't there to support you um here in the past because the three of cups is showing up letting me know that you guys may have dealt with a lot of relationships that you had to cut off maybe these people were unethical this could have been people at your job people in your personal relationship 
friends that, yeah, personal relationships, family, friends, lovers, maybe people that were unethical. <laughs> Look what it says on his face. Don't lie. Don't lie. That's what your energy is. You're like, don't bring that lie over here. A lot of you guys, uh, you Libras out there, you're not in a trusting mood right now. <laughs> I get it. Look, it's showing up in this card here. The number 22 is showing up for you, signifying your relationships, the enchanter. Some of you guys feel like you're dealing with a lot of unethical or unreasonable people, um, unsupportive crowd around you or individuals that you may be connected with, connected to or was connected to. Because I feel like with the Enchanter card, it's talking about the keywords is self-evaluation. You've done that. Or a lot of you guys are in the season of doing that self-evaluation here. Um, you're going through an awakening, finding your purpose, or really going after your purpose. Let's take a look here at the central energy. The Knight of Pentacles, you're really searching for your purpose, moving into a season of being more focused and grounded on yourself and only dealing with people who you feel may be trustworthy here but you're very skeptical of people and their behavior on the key words on this card says unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences and you're very picky about i feel right now in this season <laughs> during this time period of this reading you're very picky about the people that you involve yourself with uh, some of you guys may have had people in your life that stole from you, stole your energy, stole your time, stole your attention, stole your money, stole something from you. Um, don't sacrifice yourself. That's what you're being encouraged to do, not to sacrifice yourself. So the focus really needs to be on what you're trying to create and build, what you're trying to build in that pasture back there. See that pasture? Just bears, just dirt. But you have this grand idea with the pinnacle. You're riding deep. <laughs> You're riding deep with the black horse, okay? Coming in with a lot of amazing ideas about what you want your life to be like. That's what's on your mind. Something new. That's what I'm saying here with the ace of wands in the position of your mind. What is your focus? Uh, right now at this time and your focus right now at this time Libra is bringing in or going uh, stepping into a new season um, bringing in new creation giving birth to something an idea a project possibly a new career a new job okay <laughs> Uh, maybe multiple uh, streams of income. Ace of Wands can, uh, can also signify uh, having more self-confidence uh, and, and really um, gaining inspiration from various places as well. And only sticking with people or being around people or environments in environments that are motivating you to become the best person that you can be. That's what I'm feeling here. In the position of your challenges and obstacles, you guys had the Knight of Swords. I felt, when I put this down, some confusion of where, what direction you should go into. For some reason with you, Libra, I feel, yes, you are very intellectual. You have amazing communicative skills, okay? <laughs> and uh, great judgment, and you can work, I feel, Libra, you can work out others problems better than you can work out your own sometime and yes that is going to be your challenge here is to learn how to work out your own problems and not step in your own way be your own worst enemy here with the knight of swords and get focused on what you are what you would like to transition into here they're also urging you to be brave at this time because you may be hesitant here of how others will accept you and possibly your new ideas your new path what you're wanting to do at this time um, it's okay to work in silence until you're comfortable that's why you got profiling here some you some of you guys you may be wanting to work in silence because you don't want people to profile profile you here 
as well so your profiling card the keywords down here is saying careful not to judge someone by what they seem to be you run the risk of being wrong and they've got you wrong they got you effed up okay <laughs> they run the risk of being wrong and losing out on you and a lot of people have already a loss out on you they've already lost your attention lost your love lost your respect um a lot of you guys may feel like you don't respect certain people any longer because the three of cups wouldn't be in the past if you didn't leave people behind so you're being encouraged here libra to take the time to know more about yourself that you can be pleasantly surprised if you just take that hiatus that's the word that they're giving me hiatus uh cherished moment of silence to really connect with yourself here so that you can plan your your journey um, more precise precisely that's what i'm feeling here okay you guys have a lot to celebrate though that's that's something that i'm really seeing here you have a lot of love in this corner over here and a lot of blessings with the sun card that's showing up spirit is saying that there is a lot of success here for you in love and relationships also in business and you becoming more uh more involved in your own life creating the life that you want or even spending time with your family this could also be love coming in towards you it could be new love it could be the resurgence of love and a current relationship here for you if you are interested in that this could be also your creativity soaring to new heights i have to say it like that it's soaring to new heights with the knight of cups because the knight of cups is not just about love the knight of cups speaks of transition it speaks of a spiritual journey it speaks of you being a dreamer ace of wands what's on your mind you're dreaming of something new and it's coming towards you like i feel like there's a clear path the sun card is about illumination so spirit is bringing in and illuminating uh and shining a bright light uh, providing you with clarity and enlightenment on how to create this life that you want how to build the life that you want here okay a lot of you guys have dreamed about doing something dreamed about having a successful business uh, uh the knight of pentacles the six of cups <laughs> i feel like it was a dream in the past like when you're a child you dreamed of having a beautiful family um and, and what we call the american dream if you're in america some of you guys are not and I appreciate you guys watching me. It's awesome. But you, uh, wherever you live, <clears throat> wherever you live, excuse me, you dreamed of having that uh, life um, with the house and the children and the partner here, okay? Or if you're single, that's cool. <laughs> you dreamed of having good partnerships, uh, good relationships, being able to be artistic and be creative and uh, using your intuition to guide you into places where you can be more successful here okay could be a work family you dreamed about having a very sex sexful uh, sexful come on now libra <laughs> successful relationship uh, business relationships and all that possibility i feel is here for you and like i said to you this nest card that's showing up for you here is the key words are talking about charity generosity sharing and support that's what i feel is coming in towards you that's what you're currently building here in your life and i see you building it you may be uh, not where you exactly want to be maybe with your money or your education uh, this could also be in your physical life here as well like your body and your family may not be set up the way exactly the way that you want it but you have a good idea of how to get there and what it is that you want now all you need is the action behind it uh, with this knight of wands this knight of wands is very important for you okay it's letting me know that you guys are a self you're a self-starter here you're you're able to transition into this dream okay that you are wanting to bring into reality here and it's more than just a dream see some people may laugh giggle okay about what you're doing you may have people not even understanding 
how it is you're going to pull off what you're trying to pull off here, but they don't need to understand it. The only person that needs to understand what is going on in your life is you. Okay. I want you to be strategic though in your plan because the Knight of Wands can be hot headed, just run into, <laughs> into situations uh, um, and not think it through fully. Um, be a little impulsive here as well. So they're saying don't be impulsive, really allow your intuition to guide you here um, at this time, right? Let's take a look here. Now I said with this Knight of Swords that some of you guys don't know which direction to take. That's what I felt with this card, like you are directionless. Um, and that's, that may be a reason why, why you're stopping right now, why you haven't really taken action and moved towards uh, where you need to go at this time. But this change card is showing up for you. Let's see what this is saying. There's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. Maybe this is resonating inside of you right now, ruminating inside of you. That's a word that they just gave me and it just fell over these two cards. So something is ruminating inside of your mind, inside of your heart, okay? Um, your emotions are being stirred. You have this vision in your mind of where you're wanting to go, where you're wanting to be here. And the outcome is going to be beautiful. That's where the sun is landing for you. This is actually really brilliant. It's really beautiful here. Okay. So I feel at moments of time, moments in time here, you're going to be really pulled to do something. Your heart chakra is going to pull you in a certain direction. And I feel like this sense of urgency to get something done won't leave your body it's your spirit guides <laughs> it's the universe urging you to do something it's that synchronicity um, or that sign saying this is a time to execute I feel like this is the time right now to execute even if you take small steps like your card is saying just because you don't see any movement it doesn't mean nothing is happening maybe it's starting in your mind and your heart first and it will manifest into reality okay something to see sometimes to see change you must be the change <laughs> some of you guys this is a uh, coming in your life, this change card is showing up for you. Sometimes to see change, you must be changed. It may be because of a, the past. You guys experienced something being sidelined by people in your life here in the past. And in order for you to rewrite your family, uh, how, how do I want to say that? legacy or i want to i don't want to see i don't want to say family curse because it's not a curse everybody chooses to treat their children in different ways here but some of you guys i feel like your childhood was very difficult and even leading up uh to this point in time a lot of things that you you've gone through uh or had to deal with in your family life and in your personal life just growing up maybe school and work and personal relationships business relationships they may have been very challenging but again spirit is saying if you want to see change you must be the change it's time for you to do things differently and build a new um type of energy for you in your life and for the people that you uh bring up okay your family your children your partner you have to be the change here D much, much different than what you experienced in your relationships you have to step out of those relationships okay that's why you have this card coming in the people you spend the most time with shape who you are that's okay we were programmed from a very young age zero to seven <laughs> programmed all right so you spent a lot of p a time that's that's giving me this energy is wicked here libra you spent a lot of time with those people and they shaped who you were 
or who you are now if you're just going through this change and realizing it but you can be something different you can be the change you can raise your children different you can be a different employee a different employer you can be a different friend you can be a different lover here okay knight of cups is showing up and the three of cups you don't have to be like these people all right that you may have left behind with their fake friendships maybe frenemies that you were dealing with fake relationships fake love uh you don't have to be that energy here you don't have to treat others that way so they're really asking you to be the difference spirit is saying that you are going to have something to celebrate here very soon it's something that you're going to have to take action on with the uh knight of wands that's showing up for you this is in the position here, Libra, of what's going to bring you clarity. They're saying if you don't continue to stop yourself, like pick pick something to work on and go full force at it. Pick one thing to work on at a time. Go go all in on it. Okay. And don't back don't back back down from challenges. That, that includes you, you stopping yourself. Go all in because in the future, the very near future, I feel, um, in the position, let's see where this card is. In the next few months, okay, Six of Cups, some dream that you had is coming true. That's where that card is, what's happening in the next few months. The Six of Cups is happening. There may be some inheritance, there may be some family that you step into or some uh, family traditions that's the word that you are building here that is going to take hold in your life uh, with the people that you spend the most of your time with and it's going to be a family tradition here uh, you guys may have an opportunity to leave some knowledge uh, with your family or instill something in a, a chosen chosen friends and family if you don't have children or a significant other right now they can be chosen friends and family here okay that act like your blood family sometimes uh people that are not your blood family are more of a family to you than your blood i know you hear that a lot but that's very true okay so i see you really fulfilling some dream here um and moving into a more pleasant energy because in the beginning before the six of cups is the five of cups five of cups is letting me know that you guys may have dealt with some depression from your past connections relationships some grief you made a lot of unwilling sacrifices or sacrifices and now you're reevaluating your life and you're moving forward very differently sometimes you uh, sometimes to see change you must be the change and you're seeing that you must be the change a lot of you guys are really picking up on your childhood energy and finding new happiness in your life much different from what you had here in the past i hope this is connecting for you so in regards to this sun card that's showing up for you here spirit is saying you're going to be celebrating something very soon You'll be so full of joy and happiness. Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, the sun. You'll be so full of happiness. It will almost seem out of this world. Don't get scared about this here, Libra. And then bag up and be like, oh, this is too good to be true. This is Things are going too right. What's going to go wrong? Make sure you're staying in a very positive uh, mindset. And you're just enjoying it. Enjoying? Enjoying <laughs> and embracing. Okay? Uh, the festivities, the peace, the romance, the satisfaction, the love, the happiness, um, the personal relationships that you have with the people that you spend the most time with here or you choose chosen friends and family to spend the most time with here. OK, um, be ready for it. That's what they're letting you know. Expect it. It's happening for you. OK your second card of advice they're saying one day when you least expect it you are going to crash into someone who is going to be so soft i love it knight of cups showing up ten of cups it looks like a a family affair it's a family affair <laughs> a family affair for you um and this may be someone that you're currently with 
It could be someone from your past too that you reconnect with. I'm just saying with the six of cups in the next few months coming in for you. It could be a relationship that is rekindled, a resurgence of love here or your love life moving to the next level or a reconciliation and a connection here or even a new relationship here. But you're going to um, crash into someone who is going to be so soft and gentle with your heart. Uh, you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. So you're being encouraged to keep your heart open at this time. You are going to be so glad that you choose to believe it um, because they're saying that you really do deserve it here, Libra. Let's go ahead and see what your main theme is here. Oh, okay. Don't let that be your main theme. <laughs> My goodness, you may have that energy inside of you sometimes. Don't don't look for revenge, love. Be the change that you want to see here and forgive and move on with your life because these nights are telling you to move. Uh, that's why you have this in, <laughs> coming up for you, the Knight of Swords, because you may be ready to, like this card is showing, chop someone's head off for what they did or you're still bitter about what someone did. You're still upset. You're still pissed and your feelings do matter, but it is also um, not helping you in the current moment really be be focused on your happiness revenge is not going to bring you happiness what's going to bring you happiness is creating your happiness and keeping your boundaries up that's what's going to really piss them off you you winning okay whatever battles that they set forth for you so what other themes are coming in? Adaptability. Spirit is wanting you to be flexible, for you to be adaptable to changes at this time because there's something in the air here, Libra. And they're saying just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean nothing is happening. This may be a message from your spirit guys saying that they are rearranging things in the background for you, for you to accept something, maybe a, a possibility or an opportunity to receive um, good fortune here in your life. You guys may get a message. Domination. Is coming in you guys may get a message here about something good like a good opportunity you may be watching something here on this YouTube channel <laughs> not mine in, in this YouTube universe here you may be watching a video from someone else hearing a public speaker somewhere maybe off YouTube um, maybe you're listening to a podcast and you're trying to uh, find ways to make your finances work, increase it, what other businesses you can get into. For some reason, they're pointing me to businesses here. Um, how to have good, a good relationship with someone here, how to overcome uh, past emotions so that you're more focused on your present moment in your life and building your own happiness here. Because you holding on to the past is not going to help you. It, whether it is a situation, a person, or it's just an emotion here, holding on to it is not going to work for you. What's going to work for you here is building up yourself, reclaiming your power with the Four of Pentacles, focusing on your own wealth here. Wealth means a lot of things, not just finances. It is your own personal health, your own... Um, financial situation it is your education okay uh pentacles is coming in here letting you know that's where your focus needs to be right now at this time um and you really need to stand up for yourself taking your power back that's why you have this domination card that's coming in so you're someone i feel like your emotions may be ruling you right now how you feel about something that has happened to you and what is happening here, Libra, I got to get this out, is that uh, you keep creating the same scenarios, but in different people. The more you hold on to some emotions or something that happened to you, the more, okay, because this is right across from the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is the past revisiting here. Let's just take that away from love, a lover coming back and just talk about this energy. Something you let go of here, okay, or you've been fighting against. It keeps reoccurring because you haven't found peace in a situation here. Maybe it was challenges in a family unit 
or a personal relationship here that you had in the past with someone. Could have been, could have been a friendship, work relationship here. But it's dominating your thoughts and it's creating, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy here because you... you <laughs> It's ruminating, it's living rent free in your heart and in your mind here, okay? So don't let those thoughts, those emotions dominate you. This goes for a, a actual person that's currently in your life. Don't sacrifice your morals, your money, your values by sticking around people who shape, uh, have the potential, okay, <laughs> to shape who you are. Don't let that dominate you. Detachment. That is your main focus right now at this time, Libra, to detach yourself and to build anew. Okay, that's why we have detachment that is showing up for you. It's time to show yourself a little bit more love, okay? And focus on what you're creating. All of this beautiful energy in this corner right here. That, that is your reading. You guys, leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel about this reading here, Libra. Make sure you guys also uh, check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign so you can get a clear picture of what Spirit wants you to know mid-April through mid-May. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign so you can get a clear picture of what Spirit wants you to know for this mid-month. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Take care, loves. Bye.